Welcome to this video. Today I will be going over free anti-malware and antivirus tools that you can use to remove malware and viruses off of your computer for free. I will be listing any and all important links down below in the notes below. So if you see one here that you want to use, again just go to the notes below, click on the link, and from there you can download and install the program. Starting us off here at number 8, we have Malware Fox, which is an anti-malware tool. And right now I'm on their website. And again, this is a free program. They do have a premium version, but we are not going over that today. We're just focusing on the free version. And so what you would do is click on the free download here, download it, and then install the program on your computer. Once you have the program installed on your computer, you'll have a window like this one. And so the first thing you'll want to do is come over here to the little gear icon to access the settings. And a couple things we just want to double check. Go to real-time protection and just turn that off. You do not need that. You should be using an antivirus program for real-time protection. So again, make sure that this is not checked. And then also go to check for updates just to make sure that the program is up to date. And then also go to advance. And we're just going to go ahead and proceed through the warning here. Make sure that you have the auto launch unchecked. In other words, do not check the auto launch. We don't want this running in the background. And in fact, what I would generally recommend is once you're finished running the scan and re removed everything that it finds, I would go ahead and just remove malware Fox off of the computer. Next, we're going to come over here and click on the little house icon to get back to home. And then we'll just go ahead and click on the scan button. Once the scan has completed, it will give you the results and let you know if any action is required. In other words, if it lists any results found, make sure that they are quarantined or removed. And then afterwards, you will want to make sure that you restart the computer. Again, I would recommend as soon as you are finished using Malwarefox to remove it off of the computer. The next anti-malware program coming in at number 7 is Rogue Killer. And I am here on Bleeping Computer's website where we can download it for free just by clicking on this green download button. Again, I will list the link down below in the notes if you want to get to this page so you can download it. Now, after you download the program and start installing it and you're proceeding through the installation, you will get to a page like this. Just hit next and you can skip that part. You do not have to have a license key in order to get this program. Once you have the program installed, you'll have a window like this one. And this is the actual program. Just make sure you first come over here and click on check for updates to make sure that it is up to date. And then you just hit OK. And then you'll want to click on start scan. Now this is an important thing to note right here underneath the options. With the free version, we cannot change the options. And you'll notice that PUPs and PUMs are not checked. PUPs are some of the most common types of malware that people get on their computer. They're not actual infections, but they're often mistaken as infections, but they are malware. And so because we cannot check those boxes on the free version, that's why this program is coming in at number seven. It would probably be higher on the list if we could check those options. However, we can still use this program to search and check for more serious infections on the computer. Next, we're going to go ahead and just click on the Start Scan, and then it will begin to scan the computer. Once the scan has completed, it will list any detections, if any are found, and give the option to fix them. I would recommend that you restart the computer when finished with this program, as well as I would also recommend that you uninstall or remove Rogue Killer as well. Coming in at number 6, we need an anti-rootkit program and rootkits are a type of malware. In the past I have recommended TDSS Killer because it is a well-known anti-rootkit program that has shown proven results. However, this program is made by Kaspersky and I know that some people have concerns about Kaspersky because they are headquartered in Russia and so they have concerns about Kaspersky working with the Russian government and other security concerns. As an alternative, we have Malwarebytes Anti-Rootkit Program, which is, again, from Malwarebytes, which is a trusted, well-known company in the security industry. 
The trade-off with this program, however, is it's still in beta. But I did notice that they also do a better job of keeping it up to date. And again, as already mentioned, it's from Malwarebytes, which is a well-known, trusted company. And so I'm still going to list the link down below for TDS SKiller in case you want to use it. You can download it here off of Bleeping Computers. But today, at number six, we are going to give Malwarebytes Anti-Rootkit a try and see how it does. Once you have Malwarebytes Anti-Rootkit installed on your computer, you'll get a window like this one and then it's going to just pull up the introduction letting you know that you're using this program in beta and it's at your own risk. We're going to go ahead and click on next and it should go ahead and update. If it doesn't, just go ahead and click on this update button to make sure that the program is fully up to date and then you'll click on next. Make sure all the boxes are checked and then click on scan and it will proceed to scan the computer for any rootkits. Once the scan has completed, you will either get a list of results or a message like this letting you know nothing was found. If any results are found, just make sure to select them all and remove them, and then you'll want to restart the computer. Coming in at number five, we have ADW Cleaner. Again, if you go down to the notes below and click on the link there, it will take you to this page where you can download the program for free. After you have downloaded the program and installed it, you'll get a window like this one. And before you do anything, just come up here to the help option and click on check for updates just to make sure that the program is up to date. Once you get a message like this letting you know that it is up to date, just go ahead and click OK. And then click on the scan option and it will begin to scan the computer. Once the scan has completed, you may get a report such as this one that's up on the screen right now. But you will want to watch for to see if the ADW cleaner found any results. If it did, it will give you a list. You need to make sure to go through each tab and make sure all of the boxes are selected. And then once you select all of the boxes or just verify that all of the boxes are checked, you can go ahead and click on this clean option and it will remove and clean off any results that it did find and automatically restart your computer. Coming in at number four is the Junkware Removal Tool. Again, I will list the link down below in the notes so you can get to this page where you can download it for free. After you have downloaded the program and run the installer, you will get a window like this. Just follow the instructions. You'll want to go ahead and press a key on your keyboard and it will begin the scan. Once the scan has completed, you'll get a report like this one up on your screen, just letting you know if anything was or was not found and what was removed. You can go ahead and close these windows and then you'll want to go ahead and restart your computer. Coming in at number three is Hitman Pro and as already stated, I will list the link down below in the notes for this page so that you can get here. But it is important to note that there is not a completely free version of Hitman Pro, but there is a free 30 day trial as you can see listed right here. and the reason why that's important to know is one, Hitman Pro is a very good program and also if you're dealing with a highly infected computer you will definitely want to take advantage of this free 30-day trial so that way you can make sure that that computer is clean. After you have downloaded Hitman Pro and run the Hitman Pro installer you will get a window like this. You'll just want to click on next and then you'll have to go ahead and accept the terms and hit next again and just select the no option because it's just going to be a one-time scan anyways since it's just a trial and so we'll go ahead and click on next again and it will begin to scan your computer once the scan has completed you will get a list of results like i do right now here on the screen if it finds any serious infections the program will actually turn red right now you can see that it is blue just make sure you go through the list and make sure everything is set to delete or quarantine. And then once you have verified that and gone through the results, you can go ahead and click on next and it will remove anything that was found. Coming in at number two is super anti spyware. And again, go down to the notes below and click on the link there to get to this page. There is a full free edition of Super Anti Spyware. You will just want to click on this red button to go ahead and download it. After you have downloaded Super Anti Spyware and ran the installer, eventually you'll get to this menu for the 
trial version, just make sure to decline it because we just want to use the free version of Super Anti-Spyware. Once the program is fully installed, you'll get a window like this one. Just make sure to come down here and first check for updates just to make sure you have the latest definitions. And then you can go ahead and click on OK. And then come up here to scan this computer and make sure you do a complete scan. And it will go ahead and begin the scan of the computer. Once the scan has completed, you will get a menu like this, which you can just hit continue on. And then it will list all of the results that it did find. Just make sure that you have an X in all of the boxes and then you can go ahead and click on continue and it will remove everything and then also make sure that you restart the computer. I would recommend that if you're going to leave Super Anti-Spyware installed on the computer that you disable it from the startup program so it's not always running in the background. Otherwise, just uninstall Super, Super Anti-Spyware and fully remove it off the computer. Now we will get to number one here in just a moment, but before I do that, I do want to go over some free antivirus options that you have available to you. Windows 10 does come with a built-in antivirus program called Windows Defender, and it is improving and is getting better. However, again, I do want to give you some additional options. And so here on the screen, we have Avast, followed by AVG, Avira, the free version of Bitdefender, the free version of Kaspersky, the free version of Panda, and Sophos. So again, all seven of these are free. I will list the links down below in the notes as to how to get to these pages so that you can download them for free. But again, I just wanted to give some additional options because some people out there do not like using Windows Defender. Now, as already mentioned, if you don't trust Kaspersky, you know that's a personal choice. You do not have to use them. There's plenty of other options here that you can use if you do not want to use Kaspersky. In addition, I do want to mention that you should never ever use more than one antivirus program at the same time, which means if you want to switch to a different antivirus, you need to first remove your current antivirus program and then install the new one. Never ever run two antivirus programs at the same time. A side note with that is Windows Defender, you do not have to worry about uninstalling it. It will automatically deactivate itself if you install a new antivirus program. Also, even if you have an antivirus program that has expired, you still have to remove it because it's still running. So again, make sure you never ever have more than one antivirus program running on the computer at one time. Coming in at number one, we have Malwarebytes Anti-Malware. Again, go down to the notes below and click on the link there to get to this page where you can get the free download of Malwarebytes Anti-Malware. Now, after you download Malwarebytes and install the program, you'll get a window like this that I have up on the screen right now. We do not want to run the premium trial. So what we're gonna do is hit close to close that window. And then we're gonna come over here to settings and over to account and we're going to right here deactivate the premium trial because again we don't we don't want to run the the trial period we just want to use the free program and so we're going to go ahead and click on yes and then you can see right here it switched it to free so now we're using the free version of Malwarebytes anti-malware. Next you will want to come down here to the protection tab and click on it and just a couple settings we want to double check. Uh, down here underneath scan options make sure everything is turned on including scan for rootkits and then if we continue down also make sure that your options match what I have. Make sure it's always detect PUPs and always detect PUMs and then continue down the list and turn this off. We do not want Malwarebytes to start on Windows Startup. Once you have finished that, just come over here and click on the dashboard to take us back to the main menu. And then over here next to updates, just click where it says current, just so it can double check to make sure that it is up to date. And then after it's verified that the program is indeed up to date, you can go ahead and click on scan now, and it will scan the computer for any malware. Once the scan has completed, it will list any results if any are found and also give you the option to remove them. Just double check to make sure all of the boxes are selected for all of the results and then go ahead and remove them 
and then after they are fully removed make sure that you restart the computer. Now generally speaking just like with super anti-spyware I would recommend that you remove malware bytes once you have finished using it. If you do plan on keeping it installed again just like with super anti-spyware you will want to double check and make sure that it is disabled from your startup menu as well as from the services list otherwise the program will run in the background and slow your computer down. Now for those of you wondering the way that you do that is you come down here to your search box on the start menu and just type in ms config just like that and then you'll just want to right click on the system configuration and go to run as administrator and then once the menu opens up here first go to the services tab and check the hide all Microsoft services and just make sure to uncheck malware bytes and this one right here is super anti spyware just make sure to uncheck both of those and then hit apply and then come over here to the startup tab and then click on open task manager and just double check make sure that super anti spyware is disabled and then like I showed you earlier you can disable malware bytes from startup by going to the settings in malware bytes itself Again, you want to make sure that you do this if you keep the programs installed because otherwise they will run in the background and slow your computer down. That's everything for this video. If you have any comments or questions, please put them in the comments down below. And as always, thank you very much for watching.